Hello and up. Oh. <laughs> Was it? Flowermon is up for more. And yes, we have started recording. So, hello everyone. Gabe Avi and Flowermon are back with a, another episode of Hive Swap Act Two. And we're at a bee farm. Let's inspect. I'm <laughs> poke bees. That's not. <laughs> Those are hives, so there must be some bees around. I don't hear anything though. Well, if that's the case, better. It's not nice to mess with someone else's house. Even if they're not currently home. Can we go knock? Let's go look. This looks like a nice little house. A nice little hive. You don't really know why you bothered making me yours so big. You barely even lived in two rooms. You spent your, most of your time in Tetrarch, at the Tetrarchs everywhere. At the Tetrarchs anyway. It smells like something is fermenting. Kind of glubby, glubby -z to do to do out in something like this. Glow we go in. Like all okay. But... Right. What's over here? Bees. This is a stage. There are lights and a curtain. You wonder why there's a stage here. But, well, you're not about to ask. If we have a stage, then I know exactly what to do. If only I had time. And a full orchestra. Do the ballet. <laughs> you finally make it into the footlights and the audience is one single troll. <laughs> See, there's a well. Take a brief peek down the well and blah. You really shouldn't have looked. You shuffle Joey away and oh, oh no. <laughs> he probably moves whatever the heck this thing is. Root comes out of trees, goes into the press to become juice, and is poured out into those sacks over there. That's how the process happens, most likely. Why? You have no idea. So I guess we just keep on going. <laughs> Look, let's see. Those are the woods. If they're anything thing like the woods in Outglut, you're in for a rough time of it. Oh, we left Deer her Cat back behind. Joey, wait! Huh? What's wrong now? <sighs> Don't tell me. Man-eating plants, giant moths that fire lasers out of their butts, <laughs> trees... <laughs> Trees that have big, angry faces on them and use their branches to attack poor, defenseless travelers like that one part in Snow White. Actually, yeah. You nailed it. Wow, Joey, you're so smart. Ugh, you can't be serious. Not only do you have this crazy heir to some kind of space throne trying to kill everybody, your trees are also trying to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it builds character. <laughs> Jeez, this planet sucks! So how do people... So how do we get through this forest? Well, when Tetrarch Damic had me pass through strange areas as a test of my flame... Test of the flame of my inner strength. He ripped... He ripped me down with tusked vertebrae slurries so I could blend in with the local fauna. What is that? Tusked what? Oh, well, honestly, it's better if you don't know. <laughs> He's blushing. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to know what that's supposed to be. Anyways, basically applying any critter waste to ourselves most from the local area will work. Crushed up bee carcasses. <coughs> Arach Arachneosac fluid. That sort of thing. You have to smell like the forest. Yeah, sorry you have to deal with it. I mean, it's gonna be worse for Joey. She's out. She smells like nacho cheese, apparently, remember? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's take a look around for some stuff to rub on ourselves so we can pass through the forest without getting eaten by giant trees or bugs or whatever. <sighs> okay, well, theoretically, that means this machine should be up. This probably moves whatever the heck. Okay. All fails, buyers. Couldn't even consider turning buyers into ground pigeon. I mean, I could. <laughs> Have Joey look in the well. All right, let's do it. Wait, don't look in the well. Huh? Why? It's filled with mind honey runoff. Mind honey runoff? It's pretty dangerous. It'll burn your few globes out of your head holes if you look at it. Oh gosh. 
Thanks for warning me, Zephros. Could have made a really big mistake. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. <laughs> Given his reaction to the well the first time around, I don't think that's what's in the bottom of the well. There's liquid in these. Well, it's a well, and the rope is usually attached to a bucket of some sort. I don't want to be Im implicating anything, but I'm not going to say trolls don't have their kinks. <laughs> uh, <awful. laughs> I mean, that's that's all I'm going to be thinking about for this today now. <laughs> we could just break him. What? Zephros, that's a crime! It's fine. The Oberner probably won't be coming back anytime soon. That's... That is bad logic, Zephros. <laughs> That doesn't make it okay. <laughs> it's not like we're going to steal anything. We're just going to look for something to help us get through the forest. Take what we need and get out. Like what we did in the caves. But, <coughs> but how are we going to get inside without breaking anything? I don't want to ruin someone's nice home. I can just jostle lock with my mind. It's a primitive tech locking technique. Makes so even my terrible psychics can do it. Wait, you're what? Oh, well, she never figured this part out. <laughs> My psychics? Zephyrus, hold on, hold on. Do you have psychic powers? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! Why didn't you tell me? Do humans not have those? No? Wait, does everyone on this planet have psychic powers? No, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. But burgundies tend to be more receptive to, re receptive to the mind stuff, so you can find a lot of gutter blood trash with weak sauce to telekinetic telekinetics. Including me. That's still really cool! This is so awesome for Zephyrus. He's feeling so happy. No, it's not. The troll telekinetics, are, who are actually cool, can fire mind beams and command ghost armies and stuff. But usually the jade bloods cool or indoctrinate the good ones before they pupitate. I'm just one that had bad ones they left behind. Well, Zephros, as someone who lives on a planet where psychic powers are only in Star Wars and horror movies and stuff, I think you're the bees. <laughs> he doesn't understand. Wow! I want to see you open the lock with your cool Jedi mind powers! Okay, sure. Just switch characters to be used by. <laughs> Way to be meta there, buddy. I've never had such an unquestionable confidence thrown at me before. Okay, here goes. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Whoa, it, it should be open now. I was almost expecting it not to work and find out the guy who lives here was just holding the he is just holding the doorknob close. Yeah. That's so cool, Zephyrus. Like, I don't think you believe me, but I really, truly mean that. You're very cool. You're right. I don't believe you at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking and entering, though. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the owner won't mind. <laughs> let's, let's check troll social media. So, oh, we have one new post, and it's just, oh no. <laughs> Was that there the whole time? I can't like my own posts. Can I like anyone else's posts? Okay. Go in. <laughs> Oh! For being an insect, you're pretty. Oh, th that looks important. It's comforting to know that you're not the only one who needs, needs supplementary materials to remind you how to do stuff that you're actually supposed to be good at. There we go. It's a lamp. Thanks, game. Can we get that down? How could you even consider, how could you even consider that this would be helpful? <laughs> it stands out! It looks important! There's jars of honey. Wow, Sorna keeps her food in the, in the food closet. Incredible. What about those? Yeah, the. Uh, 
I don't know what that's for. Well, we can eat it. <clears throat> Is that a vegetable? You never had it vegetables that didn't come out of a nutrition pod. Frankly, the idea makes you nervous. Let's see what uh, Joey's gonna say about that. Eat. You're not sure how edible it is. Okay. Well, at least we got one of these things around. Ew. Is that... Is that a brain? It's full of seeds, so you don't think it is. But you've actually never seen what a real brain looks like. You hope it isn't full of seeds. Eat. <laughs> you don't want to get your fig... You don't want to get your fingers all sticky. Well... Looks like an accident waiting to happen. You weren't tall enough to hit your head on any of those, but you'd manage it somehow. Oh, Zephros. You poor buddy. Absolutely not. <laughs> wow, okay, so we already missed that. Uh, the shrimps are there. Okay. Let's see. Can we poke at them? No thanks. It probably hasn't been fed in a while, and you want to keep your friends intact. Your fronds intact. Let's see. Look over at this stuff. Brain fruit. Ugh. You can take it or leave it. Oh, so that is brains. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We can't we can't go through the door. Can we look at the door? <laughs> it was that's must be their respite block. You won't be going in. So it's a bathroom. Being the person might actually be home and using the shitter. <laughs> okay, well, all else fails buyers. It doesn't like birds. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> Buyers on that. It's alien corn. Even good for earth birds. You'd rather... Wait, is alien corn... Oh. Is alien corn even good for earth birds? Rather not experiment. Some sort of alien honey science is going on over here. And frankly, it's baffling. I'm sort of... Okay. So let's see... Can we... It's a guide to the bee dances. And these are these dances based on bees? Or dances for bees? The world may never know. Anyway, you can't reach it. I know how we can reach it. Byers! Byers, as a bird, turns his nose up at the piddling bee dances. Hmm. Very helpful, Byers. <laughs> oh, wait, dance! Knock it down! Alright, we can do that. Dang, that usually works. There has to be some other way. So that is important. I knew it. <laughs> I would throw the seasoning at it. That would be utterly senseless. Uh, Feed the... Only insult... You only insult it by implying that it's a pet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's try Pox. You know these things are never gonna be any help. Then why do we have them? Let's see. I tried to use. Yeah, I tried and it said that. Oh, okay. Finally. I did that earlier and it said it wasn't going to be of help. You bet Joey can learn something cool from it if she reads it. Okay. Read. You flip through the book. Amazing. An endless font of knowledge pertaining to the, amb to the ambulation of bees. You've learned a new dance. Oh, sweet. Can we dance for the, the Lucis? You dance your heart out, give him some real razzle-dazzle, and finish with an award-winning pose. But all this big bee does is hiss at you. Tough crowd. <laughs> wow, I didn't know I was in company of a professional pr prima bella reaper. <laughs> of course, everything has an edgy name. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. Your dance is really good. Why waste on a lowbrow cultural rabble like me? It was for the bee. You know, bee dance, perform it for, for a bee. It makes sense, right? He didn't seem to like it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, luckily I've got both view globes in full working order. I bet this wa wasp loses didn't respond because you're freaky alien. So you're a freaky alien who looks like she has a skin disease and got her horns horrifically amputated due to having soft, fatty cheeks like... <laughs> Goodness gracious, Zephyrus! <laughs> Thanks. Actually, if this Lucius gets enough visual stimulation, maybe that'd trigger the kind of response we want. Huh? 
I'm sorry. I just think in my dumb thoughts out loud. It means nothing. Maybe you should try putting on some fake horns to look more like a troll. Maybe that wasp would like your dance then. We could use those traffic cones I picked up. That's a great idea. Those shells look like horns. Oh, I'm sorry. Look like horns too. Those cornucopia things. I could also use those horns as fake horns, I guess. Well, that's an even better idea. Oh gosh, I'm getting choice overload. What a monumental decision. Which horn should I wear? Okay, well, this is a Joey situation, so what do you want? The corns or the cones? Oh. Let's save the cones for um, later. And we'll, since we're here, we will use the corn for the Lucis. Okay, corns. Achievement unlocked! Corn cornucopia disguise. And voila! How do they look? Just like a real troll. Well, a real troll with a flesh-eating lethal bacteria inhabiting their pores. That's more common than you'd think. shapes mean anything? Are they like horoscopes? Uh, yeah, kinda. What does this pair say about me? I guess the sheer size and reverse curve of them give the impression that you have a really big... heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the impression I'm gonna give off! I'll try my bee dance again now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, oh. minigame time. Welcome. Wave the mouse over the circle as soon as the bee is completely oh. inside. Okay, I see. Okay, crud. Okay. Okay. That's I keep the rhythm to. Okay. Go, go ahead. Okay, now I was, just, I was just reading that. Okay. okay, here we go. Okay. Surprisingly, a bit harder than you think. <laughs> it, do it does look hard. <laughs> Okay. Now maybe I could be doing this with the keys instead. Oh, actually I can, okay. Okay, nope, this is... You could do this with the keys as like a typing exercise, I guess. <laughs> Congrats, you pass. The B is impressed. <laughs> well, I got a better higher score if I didn't switch to the keys. The bee chitters excitedly. You shut your eyes and pretend the noise is coming from human hands as opposed to horrifyingly moist alien incis incisors. You might even mistake it for applause. You think that's a good sign. Wait, hold on a second. What's it doing? I was like, what's he gonna do? Well, he's spraying on us. Zekros, I feel funny. I feel like, like, like all my worries are totally gone. Are we high? <laughs> I guess that wasp spray really works, huh? 
This will definitely let us through the forest without wasps eating us alive. <laughs> it's really fun to smell like the forest. I'm not even worried about making it to the next train in any situation anymore. Well, station. Fuck. I think on an abstract level, I'm worried about not being worried since my anxiety has thus far been the main thing that prevented me from dying. <laughs> but I don't feel it emotionally, which is a strange thing to conceptualize, but I'm weirdly okay with it. <laughs> it's nice to not have to worry every once in a while, is that pros? Maybe you ought to use this stuff more often. <laughs> I think there's a high chance that once it wears off, I'm gonna start stress crying. Being so hard, I won't be able to walk. So maybe we should hurry. <laughs> Zephros, okay. I love you. Okay, let's get on our way then. <laughs> well, let's say we're reaching 20 minutes, so I guess we will explore the forest next time. So, this is Navi and Muffin Man. Muffin Man. Stupid voice. Flowermon. Flowermon. I'm sorry. Y'all have a good day. Okay.